all my secrets to capturing great photos, great portraits of babies and kids. Uh, I've been a professional photographer for 15 years. I'm one of the original Sony artisans of imagery, so I joined uh, that amazing team when it started in 2007. And I'm going to talk to you about my gear, my settings, and most of all, what do you do to get great shots of kids? So uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I have a Disney Junior show, a daily show, where I teach moms and kids how to take photos. So if any of you have like three-year-old kids and under, uh, you'll see that. That's on every day. But I love working with kids because I love all the stories that are living in their childhood. And one of the things that I'm often thinking about is what are the stories that like stuck out to me as a kid. So for example, this photo shoot I was doing uh, in New York a couple weeks ago and before we even really started, the mom uh, was playing with her daughter's hair, fixing it. And for those of you who, I mean, you can kind of reveal yourself if you want, but I like loved it when my mom played with my hair as a kid. That was like the best feeling in the world. And so that's what really drove capturing this moment. I am often shooting into uh, dramatic light and so dynamic range is a really important thing for me. This is shot with the A7R2 and the A7R2 has 14 stop dynamic range. And what that means is that when I'm shooting highlights or I'm shooting shadows, I can still get that really great detail, that image quality. Now, the last couple weeks I've been using the A7R3 and that has 15 stop dynamic range. So if you like, how many of you like shooting into light? How many of you like extreme backlight? Dynamic range then is your best friend. Uh, this is another kind of example of backlight, but I'm using window light, right? So this little guy, he um, wanted to reach his best friend. And one of the secrets to working with kids is letting them be a part of the creative process. Obviously, babies, you're doing a lot more directing, but once that child turns like 12 months old, a year old, they want to have some say and some freedom in what you're doing. So this little guy, see all these books right here? He like started laying out all these books and the mom was like, oh no, 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 don't do that. That's not what she wants you to do. But when I see a kid break out and do something like this and add their own signature like taste to it, not only does that add so much story to the image, but it makes it that much more personal for my client. And you want your clients to personally, emotionally connect with the images that you're giving them. So one of my tricks, like secrets to getting kids to feel good about a photo shoot is we kind of make an agreement. Where we're, we're, we're making several, several agreements throughout the photo shoot where I tell them like, okay, I'm gonna pick the space where we're gonna do the shoot, but then you get to decide what you wanna do. So I walked around this house, the outside, the inside, and I found this space right here. See how the light drops off right behind them and it has that great shadow? So I thought, oh, this is gonna be great because I have shadows, I have the railing. And so I told them, here's what I want. I wanna take a photo of you in this space, but like you can do whatever you want. Kids always surprise me. I thought he was like gonna jump up and down and get wild on me. He puts like both hands on either side of the wall, puts his foot back and does this little J. Crew like <laughs> photo shoot pose for me. And so giving kids the liberty to like have some say in what they want to do, not pushing kids to feel an emotion they're not feeling. This was a photo shoot I did in Dallas and it was like a hundred degrees outside. It was like 80, 90% humidity, but the mom wanted the holiday shot, so she has her son dressed in like long sleeve, like plaid shirt and a fleece vest, and they are hot. I am not gonna ask them to be like smiling for the camera, right? Because I want them to feel like they can have some freedom to be who they are. And when he gave me this mischievous look, I was like, perfect. That's exactly actually what I want, more than everyone smiling at the camera. This is a, another thing I do is I ask the mom, I'm like, so between all of your kids, 
which one of the kids is most cuddly? Which one's the snuggler? Because there's always one that's a snuggler, and then there's always one that's more independent. And so when I know who the snuggler is, then I'm going to have them be like, in the middle of like the parents, the group shot, or I'm gonna be have mom or dad holding them, and so they're getting that physical connection, they're feeling safe with that. But obviously, you know, this little guy is a snuggler, but he needs a little bit of independence. And so letting, like working with the kids and who they are and what their energy is, it's so vital to being able to get authentic shots of them. I send out a client questionnaire, and uh, if you go to my website, uh, it's just miraco.com, I have this Portrait 101 kit that um, we give to portrait photographers. And one of the things in it is my client questionnaire. And it's like four or five pages long, but it's very easy to fill out. And I basically have them check off like, what, what's their family's personality? Are they silly? Are they goofy? Are they pensive? Are they shy? Are they introverts or extroverts? And knowing all of these things, really helps me build a family portrait shoot that is like authentic to them versus me trying to push like an agenda on them. Does that make sense? Um, so another secret to shooting um, photographing kids is to, all, I'm always in continuous shooting mode. And that's huge for me because kids are always moving. Like all of these uh, photos that I'm showing you today, even though it looked like the kids may have held still for that photo, kids never hold still, right? <laughs> They're always on the go, you know. So this is me shooting in continuous shooting mode. This is with the A7R2. I'm using the 24 to 70 G Master lens. That's my favorite, favorite workhorse lens. And look at what happens. These three shots all happened in two seconds, okay? So in two seconds, we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. There's no way that I can like shoot fast enough to keep up with that. My biggest like need is that the camera stays focused on the eyes, it locks with them, and I can fire super fast. So I don't know how many of you have played with the IAF at all, the eye autofocus. It's an amazing feature. It's out in the A7R3 where the focus locks on the eye and attracts the subject. And as long as they're facing the camera, it's tracking with it. It's the IAF. That's a feature in the new camera. Uh, so this right here is continuous shooting mode. But the one thing that kind of like was hard for me with the A7R2, because I'm always shooting in continuous shooting mode, is that um, the camera would need to like buffer, right? So I get so many shots and then it would need to buffer. And I would just like, oh, I don't want to miss a single moment. So Sony emailed me two weeks ago. They emailed four of the artisans. And it was like this cryptic email. And they were like, we have something that we want you to work on. It's a secret camera that's coming out. Nobody knows about it. You can only talk to us about it pretty much over phone. We're not even going to say in the email what the camera is. But we want you to take it out into the field and test it and sh you know, bring back what you get. So it was the A7R3. And one of the things that like, I was wondering about is the first one of the first things I noticed it was 42 megapixels, which is exactly what the A7R2 is. And so I was like, so is there not improvement there or how is it different? Let me show you. This next photo is straight out of camera, no color editing. This is the Sony A7R3, and that is straight out of camera. And what it told me is, is that even though they're both 42 megapixels, there's a lot more going on in the processing and the sensor of the A7R3 than I ever saw in the A7R2. This is um, literally to be able to shoot this with an 85 millimeter, that's what I was using for this, and get super sharp focus on her was mind blowing. This is a, me pushing it, like I'm pushing it with shadows and highlights. Does it still give me like all the detail I want in the shadows as well as like that beautiful highlight? Uh, this is them in the window, and in this moment, it looks like they're holding still, but they're not, <laughs> right? And so here's the thing about the A7R3. Not only is it shooting in continuous shooting mode at 10 frames a second, 
but it's 10 frames a second in RAW at 42 megapixels, and it never once had a buffer on me. I was able to shoot and shoot and shoot as fast as I needed to go, and it never stalled on me. So that, I think, is huge when you're working with kids, because you need to freeze them in action, right? So I love working with natural light. It's one of my favorite mediums. And uh, I'm also thinking about, like, what's always, always, what's the story that I want to tell? A lot of people will ask me, they'll um, want to know, like, how do I know when to make an image black and white versus when to make it color, right? And it's such a great question because uh, there's, there's different, like, tones for different purposes. This is really about her magical space, right, of playing in her bedroom. I don't want this to be in black and white because I want to feel, like, all the emotion and the magic of her room. But... When I'm doing a photo where it's really about the facial expressions and the emotions, then I will often put that in black and white. Because I really want to accentuate just how they were feeling. And nothing else really matters but seeing that. Yes, the eyes. Exactly, exactly. This is with the A7R3. It's I'm um, shooting with the 24 to 70 millimeter. G Master Lens, the 24 to 70, is the best lens for working with kids, babies. Uh, it's so beautiful in the results that it gets. This is a baby shoot that I did in Virginia last week. <laughs> I've been in seven cities in the last three weeks, so I'm like <laughs> a little cross-eyed. But this baby shoot was so sweet. I was so excited to do this. But in the very beginning of the shoot, the baby started getting stressed. And I was like, trying to figure out like what was stressing the baby out you know what was the dynamic going on and I realized that it was the sound of the shutter every time the baby heard the shutter opening and closing it just made it tense and so normally I would have tried to work around that because I don't want to give up any quality to my image if I go to silent shooting mode but the a7r3 has silent shooting mode where there's no banding, there's no sacrifice in quality. And so I decided to try it, to test it. I put the camera in silent shooting mode. The baby like, totally forgot about the camera, the click, and just started to settle into this really like sweet space with the mom. And look at like that hair. Don't you just want to like <laughs> go like this with this hair? These images are pretty much straight out of camera. I, in fact, I started messing with the editing, and these are JPEGs because I can't even show it. Lightroom hasn't even come out with uh, the plugin to edit the raw images for the 7R3. And so I'm showing you like high quality JPEGs, and I cannot believe how great the color was straight out of camera. But the ultimate test for every camera to me is a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I would not have counted it against you if you did not come back. <laughs> this little girl has been our model for the last two days, and yesterday she was all over the stage except for where the light was. <laughs> she gave us a run for us money. Because a toddler does what a toddler wants to do, right? A toddler has their own like game plan, and if you fit into it, great, but if you don't, they don't care. And so to be able to like follow a toddler and track it, to keep the sharp focus as that toddler's moving is everything. There's nothing worse than doing a photo shoot that you were so excited about, that you loved. Thank you. <laughs> Can you always sit in the front row of my audience? There's nothing worse than coming back, looking at your images, and instead of the eye being in focus, the shoulder is, right? Or like the collar is. And so just to be able to track focus with your subject, I mean, the A7R3 blew me away. This is like end of day. I raised my ISO up a little bit because the sun is starting to set. So I raised it to 400, but I'm still shooting at an F28. Dad is tickling him. He's totally in motion but still totally in focus, right? So because I got this camera for two weeks and nobody else had it, I'm like, I got to go take this and do a photo shoot of like brides and grooms because that's, I did high-end weddings for years with my husband, 
My husband's in the back over there. <laughs> but we used to do high-end weddings together, and I was like, I have to use this camera with the bride. And so I really kind of um, put it to the test. This was some like, this was some space that I know that we were not allowed to be in. Can I just tell you, like, I have this rule of thumb. I don't ask for permission. I just ask for forgiveness later, <laughs> right? Because this was, like, so cool to, like, do our shots here. I loved the gray tone. This couple, they eloped, and so it was so cool to do these photos for them. And I asked them, like, are you more of, like, pretty wheat-filled, grass-filled couple, or are you more urban and, like, you like lines? And they were like, without even thinking, they're like, oh, we like lines. We like urban. We like cement. And so that's why I brought them into this space downtown. This is continuous shooting mode, 10 frames a second. We uh, filmed a whole video on reviewing the A7R3 and just what it can do. And uh, we did this whole photo shoot with this bride and groom. I'll show you. And not this is the one coming right after this. If you go to Sony Alpha, um, no, alphauniverse.com, you can see that video, it's up there. But just in how the um, camera is working, with being able to do portraits that you love, not having to do a lot of editing. Um, this was in a barn, and the whole video is at this barn. This barn is so cool, it's in Dallas in the middle of nowhere. And I, I found this room upstairs, and I was like, oh my gosh, look at that couch. Look at the window light coming through that. I'm not using any strobes. I'm not, like, no extra lights. This is all natural light. And so I had her sit down on this couch. And uh, you always want to think about how you're positioning women. You never want women sitting straight on because then we look like a box. I think guys like, like that look because they look bulkier, but women, we want to look slim. So she's kind of, see how she's kind of turned and it's giving this nice line to her hip? So then um, we go from here out into the barn, and the barn is just beautiful. So this right here, ISO 500, I'm shooting wide open, and you can see the whole behind the scenes video shoot of this on alphauniverse.com. It's up there today. This is a, it's another shot. See how, um, see the difference in making her black and white, how she just pops more? Where this, to me, uh, the one right before, I don't know if I can go back, this just felt like, in color, it felt more romantic with the chandeliers dropping and all of that. So uh, so there you have it. Those are some first look shots of the A7R3. How many of you are excited about the A7R3? Woo! <laughs> right? Um, it's a camera that pros have been waiting for. It is the best camera for wedding portraits, but then my colleagues say it's the best camera for landscapes, fashion, commercial. It is just a phenomenal camera. So, enough of me talking up here. I wanna now, okay, this is what I've done. I've basically shown you all these like really pretty photos and just like pretty like portfolio, but I wanna show you what it really looks like to do a shoot. <laughs> Because it doesn't feel pretty when you're doing a photo shoot, right? There's a lot of like working around and like, uh, you know, being spontaneous. And so we've got a couple different age kids here. And uh, how many of you think I'm a little bit nuts to bring up a toddler onto a trade show floor? My husband <laughs> raises his hand. You're a nut. So we're going to bring up this toddler. I'm going to get my camera. Be because I can't use a uh, natural window light on this stage, I'm going to try to emulate it through um, this strobe right here, this umbrella. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tether to this so you see everything I'm shooting coming up here. And some of them are going to work and some of them aren't. This is the difference between me showing you like all my best photos and you just seeing like what it, what it a pro like looks like when they're working, right? Uh, because sometimes I think we see pros show all their photos and we think that that's what every single shot looks like that we get. No, 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 I'm just showing you my favorite ones. But right now I'm gonna show them all to you, whether they're good or not. <laughs> and so we're gonna bring, um, I say we start with the toddler, if that's okay. All right, uh, all right, mama, here we go. This is, this is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hi, you are such a trooper. Yeah, let's take those. So
So Charlie is about 14 months old? 18. 18 months old. Charlie is 18 months old, and um, she has her own agenda of what she wants to do like every toddler should and does, right? So my um, challenge is going to be to get her where the light is going to flash <laughs> so we can see her, but then also keep her entertained at the same time. Um, my, my settings right now are at ISO 200. I'm at an F8 and a 1 60th of a second, but I may finesse that or where the light is because this is what photography is about. Photography is all about just starting somewhere and then making subtle adjustments as you go to finesse what you want. All right, I'm in continuous shooting mode. Yes, yes. All right, you ready, Jeff? Here's Jeff, my assistant. So one of the um, biggest things to working with kids is you don't want to set them up until you're absolutely ready to go, right? And because she's only going to give me a couple seconds, so we want to move fast. So now that I'm done telling all of you what my camera settings are, now I'm ready to go. Here we go. And she can have her book if she wants. And let's turn her, um, let's turn her towards this light. Hi, Charlie. Perfect. And let's just see really quick. Let's just look at our light and see what we got here. Can you let them know in the back that we're, we're starting our shoot? Hi, Charlie. Hi. Okay, so that's, I like that, but let's turn it, turn it down. It's a little bright. That is what a photo will look like if I'm too close to the window, right? And so if I was too close to the window, then I would just take that stool and I would move it farther away so the light isn't as intense. So think of this light as your window light and what you're like adjusting and working with. So let's see. Let's see if we like this. Okay. Charlie, Charlie. How do we like that? Little bit, little bit better, maybe even a little bit less. And mom, I'm gonna have you come over here. <gasps> and let's let her hold the book maybe by herself and see if she, okay. And you step out just a little bit, mom. Yes, that's perfect. What do you think of that? Ooh, uh, I like that, right? I'm liking that, that we're getting to where we wanna be. Okay, and now, Mom, let's have you come back here behind me. Yeah. <gasps> Charlie! Notice how I'm using the live view. Does anybody know why I'm using live view? Anybody have any guesses versus using the viewfinder? Why am I using live view versus a viewfinder? Yes, bingo, because there's nothing worse than connecting with a kid. They feel like they're having fun, and then what do I do? I cover my face with a camera, and now they can't see me. So as much as I can use live view so they can still see that I'm having fun, I'm happy. It's another reason why I always wear headbands to do photo shoots. I want them to see that I'm having a good time, and we're going to have a good time together. So look at how beautiful. That is so pretty. So if you wanted to do this indoors, you would basically turn off all the lights in the room so you only have window light. You would have the subject face the window a little bit and then just let it be dark around them to get the same effect. Okay, let's have, what do you think? What should we do now? Do you want, what do you want to do? She's telling me, what did you say? Tummy. You want to lay on your tummy? Oh, I like that. Okay, I need a stool. Can someone give me a stool? I've got an idea. She wants to lay on her tummy. Thank you. Charlie, if you want to lay on your tummy, let's lay on your tummy like this. But let's climb over here. Let's climb over here and climb this way. Oh, I love it. That's such a good idea. <gasps> That's a great idea. Charlie. <laughs> so we got her where we want her, and now we just need to, like, give it a second. What do you think? Where's her puppet? Can I see that? <gasps> Can we see that? I'm going to have your puppet help me take the picture. Yes. Yes. Oh, she doesn't 
look at what she thinks about that. She's like, see how fast she's moving? I've got to be, <laughs> I've got to be in continuous shooting mode because now we're, now we're off the stools. <laughs> now we're climbing. I actually really love that, Mom, if that's okay. Let's put her like back coming this way towards us. Okay, Charlie. Let's see what she does. Just with, can you move your hands just a little bit? Yeah, thanks, Mom. Okay, Charlie. Yay! What's Charlie's favorite song? Oh, should we sing it with Charlie? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay, you did so good. You're all done, girl. Twinkle. <laughs> twinkle, you did so good. Okay, okay, here you go. You want to wave to say goodbye to everybody? Let's say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> okay, let's bring up. Are you ready? You want to come on up, honey? Let's have you come up. No, oh, thank you. So I, I have a couple different age kids with me today because I want you to see the different energy and like what you're working with. Because to, to want to be a family uh, portrait photographer, it's not clear enough. Like you want to know like what age do I love working with? What age is more challenging for me than not? Do you know what I'm saying? And so let's meet this little one. Come here, sweetie. So nice to meet you. What's your name? Sabrina. What is it? Sabrina. Sabrina? Savannah? Savannah. And who's this right here? Mermaid. Oh, this is your mermaid? And who is this right here? Bunny. Your bunny? I love it. And how old are you? Three. She's three. Okay, she's three. Should we take a picture of you with your mermaid and bunny? All right. Let's have you sit on that chair right over there. So one of the things I always ask is I always ask the mom, what are your kids' favorite things right now? Remember that shot that I showed you with the bunnies in it? That was because that's her little girl's favorite thing. But mom wouldn't have thought to even pull those out if I didn't ask that question. So that's a really, really fun thing to ask. Now look at you, Sabina. Look at you. You're so darling. We'll start with you, and then we'll bring your mom into it. How's that sound? Do you want to hold them up tighter? Hold them up, like, come a little closer to your... Look at how still she's holding. This is just like, this is like, like a year difference, the diff like of what we're working with. That's so cute. That's so sweet. That's great. I love it. I can't see your face so enough on that one. Can you lower him just a little bit? And then I'll see him. I want to make sure I see. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right there. And look at, you're going to see it right over here. Watch there, and then you'll see it. I love it. That's so pretty. That is really what window light can give you. Because I don't want to bring all these lights into people's homes. It's just too much, and it makes them feel a little bit uncomfortable. But this is like, you can do this with window light. So what do you think? What should we, let's have your mom sit in this with you. Let's do that. So, oh, wait, you know what? First of all, I just want to do one more shot with you. Well, actually, I'm going to do a few more because you're just too pretty. I'm going to have you turn this way. Yeah. And put this hand here. Yes. And look just like that. Look just like that. Right? That's darling. That is darling. So just turning her, right? Angling her just changes the energy. That is so cute. Now can you sit crisscross applesauce for me on that? Yeah? That's so good. I love your shoes. And I love purple. Do you like purple too? What's your favorite color? Purple? I think we were meant to be friends. That's my favorite color too. I love purple. All right, let's get your little shoes in this shot. Oh yeah, I love it. 
so sweet, right? Totally different age group. <laughs> We've got Charlie who's moving around the stage. We got a three-year-old who's just gonna pretty much like do anything we wanna do. Let's have mom get in here. Mom's so beautiful, just like her daughter. And I'm gonna have you sit um, so that you're here. You come over here, sweetie. We'll have your mom sit down. And I'm gonna have you sit so that your knees go this way. Uh-huh. Oh, but I like the direction your hair falls. Let's turn that way. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I'm gonna have you have her sit on your lap with you. And you're gonna look down at her and smile. Yes, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so sweet. Darling, look at how sweet that is. So I was going to have her sit the other way, but I noticed where her hair is parting. I don't want her hair to cover her face, right? I'm going to stand up now and shoot down on them because whenever we can shoot down on women, it's a little more flattering. And how many women want all the help we can get, right? <laughs> Oh, so darling. And look at your mama for me. That's perfect. That's perfect. I love that. Not all the way right. And now you look at um, her, and I'm going to have her look right here at me. You look at the camera. Yes. See how... Um, See how mom has got this beautiful, flattering line? She's almost like the way I have her head tilted, it's leading us into her daughter that much more. Oh, <laughs> did she say that? <laughs> okay, one more with mom. You both look at the camera right here. Yes, and snuggle up more with your mom. Yes, that's perfect. I love it. And look at, look at her again. All right. She's like, Mom, you're still in my thunder. <laughs> okay, let's do a couple more, just you. And then we're going to bring a baby up here. Then we're going to bring a baby up. Yes. Yeah, do you want to twirl for me? Let's move that. Well, why don't we have her stand on that? Too high for the light or? Um, no, she's fine. Like, we can just move that and we'll have her stand right there. Yeah. Yay! Ooh, I love that. So you stand right here, like right here. And what I want you to do is I want you to go like, like this for me. Uh-huh. Like with your arms. Kind of like swing her. Okay. Perfect. Right. That's, I love it. I love it. Now I'm going to have you like spin around on a count of three. One, two, three. Okay, now stop and look at me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, one of the, one of the, one thing I love to do with kids is have them kind of like spin around and then stop and like look at me because they always are a little bit like, and it, get, it just gets this great energy going. So do you want to do it again? So you're going to spin around and then you're going to like stop and look right at the camera. Does that sound good? Okay, one, two, three. Spin around and then stop and look at me. Yes, I love that. That's so good, that's darling. It just gets a little bit more of this motion. If, if you have a child like stand for the camera, they, they don't know what to do, just like we don't know what to do, right? So let's have you hold your um, bunny up close for me. Let's have you hold your bunny, yeah. Let's have you hold your bunny like this. So I can see your bunny's face, yes. And let's have you hold your mermaid too for me. Yes, so sweet. You got your best friends with you. And then look right here. Perfect. What do you think of that? Do you like that? <laughs> She's having fun looking at her photos come up. And let's have you put their faces facing me. Yeah, so they can both see the camera. And put them closer together for me. Uh-huh. 
Perfect. And we'll take, we'll take a photo of just, just your favorite thing. Lower them just a little bit. There you go. And smile at your mermaid for me. Perfect. Yay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So kind of just giving you ideas of different things you can do, right, with a three-year-old. You did so good. Do you want to come up here and take a bow? Yeah? Everyone, our wonderful little model. Fantastic job. Good job. Okay, now we're going to have a baby. Come on. <laughs> it feels like now a baby and now a pony. Do you want to stay up here with me and help me? Okay, great. You can do that. All right. This is little Connor. Look at little Connor. <laughs> and I'm going to have her, um, well, do I want, I think I want her to stand. Yeah. This is Connor and her, his mom, I know, I know, he's so cute. <laughs> She's like, Jody. <laughs> We just did a photo shoot uh, together yesterday morning that we filmed that you can see soon. But um, Connor is about seven months old. So sweet, right? So let's um, undress Connor. Let's see. Yes. Oh, do I want to hold him? I would love to hold him. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> We're undressing the baby on the stage. And Connor's sister, do you want to come up here too? No? Okay, you can come up. At any, you can come up too. All right. Hi. So one of my secrets to working with kids is if they have an older sibling, to enlist the older sibling to be your helper, right? Because, like, why should I try to worry about getting Connor to look at the camera or smile when I can just take advantage of his older sister. Oh, okay. And then we're going to shimmy him up? Yeah, okay. I love that this is streaming live. <laughs> okay. Is it Nora? Okay, sweetie. Everybody come, oh, we'll have the little girls come over here. All right. Yeah. And you're going to, like, on the count of three, you're going to, like, say, Connor, Connor. <laughs> okay, you come stand over here by me, though. Stand, like, right here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And ready? One, two, three. You're going to say, Connor. Whoops. Whoops, he turned on us too fast. Oh, we got him good. Okay, right? I think I'm going to have Nora, you come right here. Uh huh. Yeah, look at how sweet that is. Okay. Connor, and, and now Nora, you're going to go, Connor. Can you say that? Can you say, Connor? <gasps> so, so cute. You look at him and smile, Jody. I love that. Jody, move a little bit this way, perp. Well, not so much. Right there. Yeah. And turn the shoulder that way. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm going to have you turn him around. So he's actually like, his chest is against yours. Yeah. 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 And turn this way now. He wants to look at it, but if we turn you far enough, he's going to have to turn his head. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Okay, can you take a half step back though? Yes, perfect, perfect, right there. Oh, I love that one right there. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's see, can you yell Connor? Can you say, Connor, look over here. No, no. <gasps> <laughs> okay, so we want to, one of the things is, um, oh, is this Connor's lion? We want to um, kind of get the siblings involved so they don't feel forgotten, especially when there's a baby, right, introduced in the home. And so let's have, um, what if we had Nora and Connor sit together? Would they be okay sitting on the stool? 
can we lower the light for that? Is that okay? All right. So let's wait one second. So one of the things to think about is what is what is the baby doing developmentally right now? So Connor is about six, seven months old, and so he can't sit up on his own, but he can like push himself up, and he's like super proud of being able to push himself up. And so we're gonna, um, what I'm gonna have you do? He can pull himself up too. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's have you come right here, sweetie. Nora, you come right here, and you're going to hold up his lion for him. All right? Okay. And, Mom, I'm going to have you lift your hand in three seconds. One, two, three. Go! <laughs> he wants to roll up. Isn't that sweet? Right? So, we don't want him to roll away, so we got to be fast. Good, you continue shooting mode. One, two, whoa, he's moving though. He's moving, we don't want him to roll. One, two, <gasps> whoop, ah! <laughs> How about right there? One, two, no, he's like, he's on the go, but he's so happy. Oh, look at that. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> let's, have, let's have you now do this. Let's have you sit behind him, put him on that stool, and then you kind of get behind him, and you get in a shot. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Come in closer behind him. Yeah, right there is great. Yep. Yep, get in even a little more behind him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm actually going to have you on your knees. Okay, one of the things that you can do with a mom and a baby, especially, um, uh, yeah, when we're ready, is uh, sometimes the mom, not this mom, but sometimes the mom doesn't feel comfortable having her photo taken because maybe she still has baby weight on her and she's like, you know, I don't really want that in the shot. So one of the things you can do is you can use the ki uh, kitchen countertop to just like hide that or you can put them on a tabletop or a bench like this and then mom is gonna like lean in and it's just gonna be a really flattering line on her that she feels good about. Cause mom needs to like the photo just as cute as a baby is in the photo, right? So, here we go, here we go. Do you wanna get in there too? No? Okay, you come over here. You come over here. You can sit there too, that works. That's great. You girls are doing an amazing job, truly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's, I'm going to wait. There's a lot of just like waiting for the moment. What, <laughs> where do you go? There you are. There you are. Oh, yeah. There you are. Now I'm going to have you bring him. Oh, that's so cute. I'm going to have you bring him down to sitting down. And then you kind of kneel down behind him. You're doing great, Jody. <laughs> okay, and here we go. <gasps> Connor, what are you looking at? Huh? How darling. I love what these look like. I'm gonna take the lion here. Hi! <gasps> Hi! Who is this lion right here? <laughs> He's moving around, but we're working with it. <gasps> now we're gonna stand up. Okay, all right. Connor, look right here. <gasps> what do you think? Nora, do you wanna help me to get Connor to look over here? You can stand right here. Do you wanna? What do you think? <gasps> Now let's get in really close because he's really gumming. And I'm going to have you, um, you lean out. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Just you kind of lean over and tilt it in. I'm going to get him in that stance there. It's so stinking. It's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I could do this all day. Isn't that sweet? You're so 
sweet. Now I'm going to have you um, hold him from the side so I don't see you behind him. Hi. But I can see his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There we go. And here's the line. Here we go. And we're going to get in super tight right now. I can still kind of see your hands. And it may not work because he's really moving. Yeah, maybe we should sit. What do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think? Now he wants to move back. So here, oh, I'm so sorry, honey. That was me. So here's the thing I'm wanting you to see. See how, like, try this, try that, try this, try that. You know, it's not like just a smooth, like, oh, I'm just going to walk in, take 35 minutes of photos, and that's it. Like, he's constantly adjusting, right? So I'm just kind of having to play with it. Plus, I'm like totally sweating because when you have a baby and dress down to a diaper, you turn the heat up in the room. And so everybody's like hot and sweating, but we want baby to stay comfortable. So there's all these like little things that are going into it. Um, do you want to do, let's do one more. Come right there. That's perfect. What do you think? Oh, I like that little hand though. Oh, I like that little hand. Yes. Connor, right here. Who is that? Who is that? There's so many things to look at. There's so many things to look at, huh? Come here, come here, just a little, like where the stool is, stand right there. I'll take a half step over, uh-huh, and then like this, perfect. And then put, bring that shoulder forward more. I'm having her bring a shoulder forward so it's more slenderizing and flattering on her. And you look at him. And let's let him just chew on that hand right there. Sometimes, uh, oh, where did I, did I lose my connection? <gasps> Testing it. Are we good? There we go. <gasps> Connor, let's try it one more time. Connor, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. So sweet. Okay. One of the things that you always want to photograph with babies and kids is whatever they're doing, like, developmentally at that time, right? Like, he's sucking on his fingers, and obviously you're going to get shots of him not doing that, but you totally have to still get those shots, too, because he's going to stop doing that in a couple months. And so um, thank you so much, Connor. Should we clap for Connor? Hey, Mike, do you have time to just do a couple? Okay, let's do it. Can we do one more baby? Yeah? Okay. Let's do one more baby. Connor, you did so good. <laughs> you did so good. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> okay, let's do one more baby. Yeah, question. Right now I'm at F8. Yes, yes. No, most of the time I'm in natural light. I'm not using this like strobe because I'm just using window light. I'm wide open. So it'd be like F28. But because I wanted to create a window light effect for you guys, my settings are different. Um, oh, look at this little hello. Who's this? This is Brady. This is Brady. Look at Brady's hair. It's fantastic. <laughs> Let's have mom and Brady come over here. All right, girl. And I'm going to have you stand again with like at an angle. And so since your hair falls that way, let's have you bring that shoulder forward. So turn that way and have him on your other hip. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. How old is Brady? Seven months. Brady's seven months? Just like Connor. <laughs> towards me yeah 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 and then lift Brady up a little higher oh hey bud and lean in towards Brady for me perfect <gasps> hey bud hey hey and we're just gonna get Brady right here hey hey you hey you oh my gosh I love that look at this is that so <laughs> cute <laughs> Here, Dad, you can come right here if you want. And I want 
want you to bring him in a little closer, but don't tilt your head towards him. I like your head like straight on. Bring him a little bit higher on your, on to the side. Oh, I like that. No, I liked what you were doing actually. That looks kind of, yeah. Okay, and get in close to each other, yes. Okay, Mike, right here. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, what's dad doing? Why is dad doing that? Turn your shoulder more this way. Yeah, turn your whole body. More like, yes, beautiful girl. And lean in towards me from the hip. Yes, girl, that looks awesome. What are you doing? Oh, he's no. so stinking cute, though. I love all of it. Look at that. You don't know what to think about this, huh? You don't know. What do you think about this? <laughs> and I'm going to, is he sitting up on his own? or? I want to get a shot of that, just that hair. Let's, um, man, let's have him. Well, what happens if you just like lean out? And I'm just gonna just get, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna get his hair. Okay. <gasps> Mike, you get his attention. Okay. And hold right there. Hold right there. Oh, that's so sweet. Hold right there. <gasps> oh, it's <just> <laughs> so cute hold him like that again that was so darling I want to take a shot of that yeah <laughs> and you look up at him I love that Brady 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 Whoop. Whoa, look at here oh, oh, oh <laughs> that light is just so darn bright can you go back to the one right before that light is just so darn bright hold still He's looking at us like, what's going on? What's going on? Here, turn him so he's more like, uh, turn him that way. Like, so his, his chest is against yours. I'm thinking as I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now turn so you face that way. So you're facing that curtain. And I just get him over your shoulder. Yes. And take a step forward right there for me. Yes, and look at him like that is beautiful. Brady. Oh my Brady. gosh. <laughs> Who is that? Hi. Who is that? Give us a smile. Please. Please. Oh. Please. <gasps> this is camera. Please. There we go. I feel like that's going to be like super over. Come right. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Right? Oh, okay, one more, and bring him a little bit closer to you. And you look so beautiful. All this Aww. hair is just beautiful. And Dad, I'm gonna have you clap your hands. Brady. 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 Okay, one more, Brady. He's <laughs> all right. Well, um, I'm gonna take a couple more shots of just the three of them together. Cause I gotta get the family shot. But uh, thank you so much for being here. Sony A7R3, best camera for weddings, portraits, my favorite workhorse lens, the 24 to 70 G Master F2.8. You, if you only have one lens, the 24 to 70 G Master, that's the lens.